in a world which has seemingly gone soft for the real off-road capable SUV, it's nice to know there are still sport utes like this one that can get the job done. Hi, I'm Steve Hammes from Drive Time, and today I'm test driving the 2010 Jeep Liberty Limited 4x4. It had been a couple of years since my last Liberty test drive before spending the week with this Inferno Red Limited. That was back in 2008, the last time the Liberty was redesigned. The big news for 2010 centers on the Liberty's 3.7-liter V6. It produces a rather paltry 210 horsepower and 235 pound-feet of torque, and fuel efficiency isn't a strong suit either. Chrysler's all-new Pentastar V6, debuting on the 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, will boast 290 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque while providing an 11% fuel economy gain. It'll eventually replace this dated engine in seven Chrysler Group products, but for now the Liberty tries a new trick to make fuel efficiency gains. Interactive D-cell fuel shutoff comes standard on all models this year and turns off fuel during vehicle deceleration. And joining just about everyone else, Jeep now includes a fuel saver indicator, which illuminates when you're driving in a fuel efficient manner. What does all of this mean to the EPA? Apparently not much, seeing as how their 15 MPG City 21 highway rating is unchanged from 2009, but Jeep claims real-world fuel efficiency gains, perhaps too small to say exactly what they are, but hey, it's something. There's much to like about the Liberty, and I was glad this one came with the Sky Slider Roof, a $1,200 option, because I was looking forward to trying it out. Think panorama sunroof, but with fabric instead of glass. It works well and creates little noise, so all is good there. The Liberty Limited also comes fully decked out with heated leather power seats, Uconnect phone, fog lamps, etc. The Liberty makes friends easily because of its sharp looks, high-grade interior, just right dimensions, and go anywhere moxie. Yes, the V6 and 4-speed auto is from a time gone by, but it's mostly imperceptible to the driver. I find the Liberty to drive quite well considering its trail-rated status. A thick shellac of overall refinement masks the off-road side until called upon. And for that, my tester has the optional Select Track 2 active full-time four-wheel drive system, which can be driven in an automatic mode or locked with a low range. The Liberty's live rear axle, nearly 8 inches of ground clearance, and the optional skid plate group make for some real Jeep adventures, and with the optional tow group, you can move 5,000 pounds. Very impressive. The SUV is an endangered species, and though the Liberty isn't going to make many fans at the gas pump, you will be happy with its laudable usefulness, array of four-wheel drive electronics, and satisfying drivability. MSRP, as seen here, is 32710 for Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.